YouTube, what's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman, I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So, this is like another zest desk. I ain't gonna do them like that. <laughs> it looks like one though. We back with Fair to Say, man. And this is Dijon Paul responding to the Apollo and um, the comments that they made um, about him. And what he said about Isaiah Rashad. Now, they made gay jokes about Dijon Paul, but y'all know how um, the Apollo Fig community, where all these guys are, bro. They just joke. It's just a bunch of jokes all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's what they, that's what they whole thing predicated on. If you ask me, they friends. Friends joke on each other. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? So Dijon Paul gets hired over here. Niggas make jokes about him. He don't like the joke. So then he sends a shot at Isaiah Rashad. Out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And basically, um, in this clip, Scotty trying to explain to him, like, bro, you don't think that was wrong? And, you know, Dijon, sassive, aggressive as ever. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, no, I don't. I cooked. I did the thing. Crazy. Crazy. And he's sensitive. He be popping it. He got an attitude. Uh-uh. But you sensitive. That's weird. That's weird, bro. I don't even know why he over here. And I think his days are numbered that's my opinion now if this is your first time to the channel please like subscribe comment and share please and thank you we need that for the algorithm if you go to the top of the page smash that instagram link follow me on instagram shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there also join up in the discord good people positive vibes all the time i can't tell you that enough we was in there doing it up yesterday bro we had the horror movies going on shout out poltergeist classics one you know what i'm saying that's my dog he running the horror movies in there for the rest of October, um, smash that TikTok link. Follow me over there for any content that I post as well. We have 14K, man. Shout out to all my subs. Shout out to everybody who support what I got going on. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I I, I greatly appreciate y'all. And um, let's keep this motion. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into this content, y'all. This little nigga be at all the shows. I thought he had some sort of affinity for us, love for us. No. This nigga don't give a fuck. This, this, is, start, his least favorite, this is his least favorite gig. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't, he don't care I about didn't realize. I mean. I'm an employee, nigga. I fucking work here. That's another thing, because Apollo is calling the niggas employees and shit. I don't be looking at myself like an employee. I'm an employee. I guess I am. am. Nigga, you work for a company. Give a Who cares? That, was, that, 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 car's so get, that car's getting broken to over there. They ain't together. See things like that? Now, somebody broke into um, the Apollo and stole uh, some Akeem stuff. They tried to uh, take off with a bunch of stuff. Got some shoes, some. They over there and in. And like, bro, what, why you make comments like that? That's what I'm saying. What's what's cool about niggas getting robbed? What's cool about hardworking niggas getting their items stolen? You know what I'm saying? This is what I mean about the sass of a girl. This nigga got a Harry Potter shirt on. Like, come on, gang. Yeah, it's just until somebody says it, you don't really think, think about it. Oh, it's only in our community that that term is considered that. derogatory. Disrespectful, yeah. Yeah, because it's like looking at it's looked down upon to have a job. Like you're supposed to be just a Me, super. Where was you? Where was you two, three years ago? What do you mean? <laughs> to say that? The what? To say that employee is not a slur. Well, because not, not a lot of people think like me. We we see you that people, people give me that it's shit. Oh, slur. it's not a slur. No, well, because man, you got to be an elevated mindset. At some point, to know that, like, to not take things to heart and look at the underlying context of them, like, an employee, people think like that's degrading to say that you have a job to have an income because for years it was painted like, mm. don't tell nobody you got a job, don't work, hide your job, show everything else except where you work, and I think that's dumb. It it actually fucks up society even more because you're not putting the positivity out there about how okay it is to have a job. The like, president, the president <clears throat> is an employee. I don't think it's so. Facts. To yes. me, there's no facts. negative connotation. To me, it's something wrong with being unemployed or not having a hustle, not having an income. It's nothing wrong with being an employee. I'm sure I've said that word way too many times uh, today, well, so I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so when you said it, you didn't have any negative underlying... We don't have to get back As into I've it. As I've explained but, it multiple yeah. times, I did not. I did not at all have me, no, you're any lying. malice. The thing is, it's not about... I'm lying? It's not, yes, you are. It's not literally what like... what part am I lying? Hold on. Okay. It's, it's not literally... When, you, when someone says that to you, mm -hmm. at least how I look at it, 
they're not really saying you're an employee of court. Everyone, most mm-hmm. people on earth are employees. Mm-hmm. What they're really trying to say is, nigga, you're not a boss. Degrade your position. Yes, you're mm-hmm. not a boss. That is what you really that, mean by that. That's not what I meant. Maybe that's how you feel about it, but that's not what I meant. Because I was a ear milk employee before I said that to T. Rella AD on no job. Big cap. Big cap. This is the thing, too. This is what I mean about being sassive, aggressive. Hey, my nigga, stand on what you said. You know that you meant that to be demeaning. You calling niggas workers. That's what you was trying to do, bro. That's what Scotty is trying to say. And you can't even be man enough to stand on that, bro. Yeah, I did. I was angry in the moment. So I said that you try. That's not what I meant. You're a liar. That is what you meant. That's why you won't last long over here because you disingenuous, gang. That's a fact. So, I so you did not coming from being. In you did not. I, have, the full sentence I said was I did not, and this is a factual statement that you, no one can argue. Let me let me repeat it. I did not come here for corporate consulting. Which that's from fine. From employees after, excuse it me. It was meant to be after, derogatory, though. No, it wasn't. You on that Apollo psychic? shit? You on that Apollo shit? You throwing rocks, hiding your hand? Don't do that. Mm. I was. It was not meant to be an insult. It was not. I would just admit it. I would just say I, Dijon, I meant to hurt what your are feelings. You right now? I, I did not say it for that reason. I didn't. Look, we don't need to bring that back up and uh, oh, reopen up the old world. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, that's just, I'm just for the sake of right. we know they move past. There's no reason to yeah bring yeah. it back. You know, bring it back around. Dijon's good where he at now. Obviously, they Great. made peace with that. So, yeah. but I think Scotty was just trying to get to the underlying thing of like, was there negative connotation behind it? Because people, I think what was said to me was negative, and then I put up a boundary in that moment. I put up a boundary for myself. So it was like, a defense mechanism. I put up a boundary as oh, to oh, move gotcha. for, moving forward. Gotcha. I don't want any employee at this table. To tell me how to run a Dan and Lay magazine because you just said I need to do a Dan Lay podcast when I've been I need to do a Dan Lay podcast when I had been doing that for two years at that point. Mm. So I wasn't trying to insult anyone. I was putting up a boundary to move to move forward. Don't hurt. It was like defense, like you said. You yeah. are so slimy, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredible, bro. You're very like you. I mean, goddamn. You feel like I'm good. I'm good, but. I know my heart. I know my intentions. Shout out to T-Rail and AD. So wait, where did, when we even landed into that was about the employee thing, about the sentiment of like people saying having a job is a bad thing? Well, what, Paulo did, called all of us employees. That's that's what's up. But when? On the show, today. On their show today when they were reacting but to like our a couple clip hours or my ago. clip or our clip. Who, are they, to, who are they talking to? All of us. In that regard, I guess. I didn't watch everything. I saw the We clip all got on, called some derogatory words, oh. and then we all got called employees. All I saw on Yaz's page, Yaz posted a clip <laughs> saying that they uh, replied to what I had said on last mm-hmm. episode. And it begins with uh, MacWap saying, what did we do to Dijon? What did we say to Dijon? And so for- yeah, because they was jokes, Spicy Brown. They were jokes. Nobody thinks you're actually trying to smash T-Rail, gang. No one thinks you're trying to smash T-Rail, gang. Come on, bro. You have to know that that's a joke. This is what I mean about niggas being sensitive. You over here where all the jokes fly being sensitive, gang. Come on, bro. Meanwhile, you was at No Jumper. Niggas talk about you got Hall of Fame recoil. You giving niggas daps. You gave Big Mama a dap. You hear me? After he mentioned your Hall of Fame recoil, you giggled. <laughs> But you so bothered about what's going on at Fig Unity World, the Apollo, how they... <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, man. There, you, you lack accountability. I have, it's really nothing else I have to say other than what I said. I'll, I'll repeat what I said last you episode. Don't to do you don't have to do that. You double, down? Up, yeah, I don't have an update because they... I put the clip in the group chat. Y'all mm-hmm, saw what they mm-hmm. said. MacWap said, I'm over here trying to get up, which is crazy to say. He implied, him and King both implied that I'm, I showed the text messages so that I could fuck T-Rail, which is crazily inappropriate. And so I said, I talked about that gay homie. You talked about the gay person at FMW. I talked about the gay person at TDE because y'all work at TDE. We do you, talking, feel, do you feel it's fair? Nigga, they work at TDE, but they're podcasting, gang. Let's be clear on that. They are the Apollo. You could have made mention of anybody over there at the Apollo. Not the record label they're connected to. What are you talking about, dude? This is what I mean about that sassive, aggressive shit. You know you're still a man, right? Spicy Brown. You know you're still a man, right? A nigga could sock you right in your mouth. 
that look, niggas don't want no drama, no no violence or none of that. But I'm just saying, how you pop it, gang? You do realize that you're still a male, right? Okay, yeah. Though, because they talked about you, mm -hmm. and you talked about someone else. It's so it's so unfair. Now what? It's so See, unfair. I don't even think it's about I'm the... so I'm so wrong. I'm a hundred percent the wrong. Do you... Now what? No, no. Okay, I'm gonna let you. I, you you're entitled to feel how you feel, but yeah. let me ask you the how. Uh, Sometimes little, you gotta tell a nigga he can't feel how he wanna feel. No, nah, I'm gonna let it. You can't yeah, do that though. You can't. But keep going. Facts. Whether he's right or wrong. Uh, yeah, go go go. Yeah, everybody, everybody, wrong. Let's, everybody. Say, let's say I'm a hundred percent wrong. But no. Now what? But let me just ask you: Do you think that Gross. in this space <laughs> that um, there is a line where you you there's a teeter line <laughs> of sensitivity where it's like some things are deemed joke, and then some people don't know how far a joke is, and then maybe it wasn't meant. Mm. To offend you because obviously when they said it they invited you over afterwards. No, they said that after I had been over there. They oh, said you that had already recently. been there. I've oh, been there okay. a few weeks ago. Correction. Last week that clip Correction. came out, okay. and they said that. And if I hit you and you stab me, I can't say, "Oh, I only hit you with X, Y, Z." No, I see. You. It, it is what it is. Also, do you feel like you overreacted to it though? No, a I little, feel like even I, no, in retrospect, I, I feel like I underreacted. I feel like I could have said much more. But I, feel like, I, feel like, I don't think like they said it in because a vicious way, and that was my only thing I took. Like you're entitled to respond how you want, and what you said I'm was cool. I'm over here to get. Fucked. I don't feel like it I'm was. Okay, but so you, you over yo, watch how he. Did. I'm over here to get this thing. This thing. This what? Come on, bro. T Rail AD, who did this? Straight up, who did this? Y'all thought this was a good idea? Y'all thought this was a good idea to have Spicy Brown over here with the big dogs. That's what y'all thought. I don't like when you say this. Uh, they talking about my... I'm trying to fuck t Rail. Uh. Y'all thought this was a good idea? Shame on you. Fair to say. See what I did right there? Fire. But you've no, also no, no, you've I also you. I got, I you've also you. named two. Well, you haven't named Brick Baby, but you also said Flacco was trying to do that to you. You want me to play the clips? I, Brick, Brick but said, I'm saying, what if said you Flacco said what he said on camera. If you invite that energy, is it? Are they that wrong for? No, they said I'm over here trying to get. F they didn't say somebody over here trying to. But Scotty might be talking about them clips that I played for you yesterday. Hey, bud, we saw you laughing and joking with niggas about your cheeks. Let's be very clear. You were not uncomfortable sitting there in that awful lot of cough syrup rug. You was not uncomfortable. You was laughing. You was cozy as hell. At one point, you even uh, 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 leaned all the way over on the couch and laughed. You weren't uncomfortable when niggas was talking about them cheeks. But now you over here and want to be uncomfortable. Niggas know how to act. <laughs> niggas know how to act at the Caucasoid platform. No, I'm not going to say anything. Ha, ha, ha. But you want to come over here with the brothers? Start kicking up dust. Get him out of here. They say, I'm over here trying to get... And what but once you, you lob it me, in the air, it's kind of like... Give me... Okay, when did I lob that I'm sexually attracted to anybody on this platform? Lobbing There's been the worse. When did crazy. I lob that I'm sexually attracted to anyone over here? So he's what he's saying is the gay jokes are okay, but once you insinuate a sexual want or a se actual sexual act, that's when he crossed the line. And that's what I was trying to find out. Like, so the gay where jokes is the okay. line? He doesn't... No. I don't think none of it's okay. Speak, I don't need you to speak Go ahead, me. go ahead. When you tell a joke... Mm hmm the person receiving the joke can accept it mm -hmm. and laugh, or sometimes when you tell a joke, the person might get offended and say something back. Sassive, aggressive, pay attention. What he's saying is absolutely right. What he's saying is absolutely right. Hey, you can't smack me and then I punch you in your mouth and you, hey, why'd you do that? Because you smacked me. I can respond however I want, want to respond, you feel me? After the initial interaction. But this is what I'm gonna say. All that is true, but there's also context of a situation, right? And in the context, you know that nobody's trying to make fun of you or make you feel bad. You know this because they do this to each other constantly. t Rail got a whole fucking arm that don't work. Just hanging there. And niggas make jokes on that. So you mean to tell me that you feeling sensitive about niggas making gay jokes, just make a joke back. Make a joke back. What you said back was not funny. You talked about a whole nother man who don't have anything to do with the Apollo or podcasting. 
Come on, bro. That's what I mean, though. That's that sassive, aggressive shit. You can't tell me. That's a good explanation, and you're right. But context matters. That's even funnier to them. And mm -hmm. that's what I did. I, I handled it how I wanted to handle it. I said what I want to say. No, I'm not, I'm not again, picking I'll choose. No one's going to say it again. No and I'll say it again. And no, I'll say I'm not it again. disputing that, Dijon. I think that that's fine. Yeah. And I, you know, whatever. Who, I say what I said. Fuck it. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's cool. That's how I feel. Right. But when are we going to be able to break down different layers of me and you are in a spat, and then all of a sudden, I'm talking about you, and then you be like, well, nigga, fuck your mama. At what point do you as a person say, okay, maybe I shouldn't? No. Like, what point? At no point. At no point do I. If this used to happen to me all the time, a student would come into class or whatnot and be like, oh, you fat, you gay, da da da. And I'd be like, well, I heard your mama was out there selling pussy on Century. D don't start with me. I wouldn't have said that. I don't ever walk in class. I heard your mama was out there selling pussy on Century. But if you say something to me, I'm going to say, if I feel like it, I'm going to say something worse back to you. That's how I am. Right. Otherwise, you could just leave. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Good buddy got too much trauma. Good buddy got too much anger. Good buddy got too much ego. I'm watching him. He's just. If you tell me like that, and I can say like that, they used to tell me all the time. He do, doing all this with his neck. With that type shit, it's too much of that, gang. It's far too much of that. You have this like disdain or this anger. Something happened to you. Something happened to you where you got this thing, this arrogance, this ego, this something. You know what I'm saying? I keep calling it sassive aggressive. You feel me? He's sassy for sure, but the nigga's disaggressive. I'm going to be real. This, this is a, this is a, 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 a sassy-ass aggressive nigga. For real. Like, why are you so angry, bro? These are jokes that we're talking about. You go back talking about it. I was in class and... and Call me a man. Bro, whoa, whoa. We're doing a whole nother thing here. And again, these niggas joke on each other. Tyrell has a whole fucking arm he can't use. I can't stress that enough. Niggas make fun of him all the time about that. You want to know You want the truth about that? I don't think that shit is funny. I'll be like, yo, why do they joke about that, though? Why do they joke about that? But, hey, they're friends, and they're okay with that. They're cool with it. Why are you so goddamn panties in a bunch about a joke? A joke, bruh. You have a Harry Potter shirt on. Come on, gang. You're supposed to be better than that. Dijon, the alone. Is it, is it impossible to Harry not make gay or inappropriate jokes about Dijon? Is it fiscally or physically impossible? This okay, is... so let me ask you this then. Where is the line draw just for the sake of everybody who's engaging with you? Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't want to. I'm sure most people over here don't want to offend mm -hmm. you. But if the if the table is open or if the universe is open yeah. for jokes back and forth, it's right. just going to make people not want to joke or have fun at all because they don't know how sensitive you're going to be or how you're going to take uh, something. Uh, that Whether they felt like it was whether you felt like it was over the line or over the top or not, maybe they didn't feel that way. So maybe the approach is where people are like now, like, how do I approach Dijon with jokes or comments if we don't know what is okay and what is considered sensitive? I know when his he, answer. When he jokes about himself, about mm. these things, and everybody just plays I into it. I make jokes about one of the... Eloquently put, Stetson. This is why they call you Stetson. Eloquently put. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Niggas don't even know how to, you know what I'm saying? Rock, would you supposed to be part of the umbrella now? And it's like, damn, you got niggas walking on eggshells. Niggas don't say nothing to him. I'm like, why? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Straight up. People no, not with? that far. I, and I agree, bro. You're trying to make it seem like I'm painting in a bad you're, you're way. I agree. That, yeah. that, what, I see where the line was crossed for you. I get it. <laughs> Versus other little gay jokes. Or and Scotty want to fight Dijon on the low. Pay attention. I've watched too many of these episodes. I see body language. I see how he be getting at him. Scotty want to fight Dijon. He probably feel a way about it because, you know what I'm saying, he part of the community. Scotty, you can sock his ass. He's a man. Things like that. I get it. But people, I just think the biggest thing is where does the line draw with your level of, like, when you're offended or sensitive about a certain thing? I don't have a written handbook or written constitution. Pay attention. Sassive, aggressive breakdown. I'm not going to walk around with a signage on me in regards to exactly how to speak to me. If you say something to me and I oh. want to respond to it, that's what it's going to I be. I get it. How about that? It's based on how it's, you feel. It's a it's a risk. It's, it's based a, on how you feel. Can I finish? It's 
I ain't gonna lie either. Scotty, Scotty Wild uh, gaslighted too. He like, oh, you know you can't do that to Sassy Cuz. You know you can't do that, bro. Oh, I get it. Hey, I'll get to you. It's a I'll get to risk you. when you say things to people. They might say something back. Got you. So every time you crack a joke, you're t you're taking a risk. Every time I crack a joke, I'm taking a risk. I might say something to you, you might say something no. back, and I can't cry when you, when you when, say something back. When you when you when you make a joke on me, I'd like to think that I'm moving on principle more than I am Principal's moving on. Principle's the joke because, now. Because, Lord have mercy. What, what, where's the education for that? I didn't go to comedy school. Look. Where's the principles and guidelines for jokes? If you say something <laughs> that I want to respond to, I'm going to respond to it. You might say something, I might laugh. You might say something, I might no, chuckle. I think, you might say something, I, I might think, curse you out. I, I, you might say something, I might say but a if funny they're homies, joke. You shouldn't expect them to come from... Uh, if they're homies, exactly. And that's my whole point. Stetson, shout out you, man. Shout out Stetson. That's my point. You over here in the comfort, bro. You with your people. You know, hey, how about this? You don't got to know about Fig Munity World. You know us as a people, black people. We like the joke. We like to, you know what I'm saying? Do it up, clown each other, all that. That's like part of our whole thing. You know that. Straight up. You know that. You know that this environment is a bunch of homies. And not only a bunch of homies, but a bunch of us. This is us. You feel me? So you know it's going to be jokes flying this that and the other but you know it's not with any malicious intent because we all cool we all under the same umbrella doing the same thing for the same exact cause right so you shouldn't fly off the handle when you hear jokes bruh and especially fly off the handle to somebody who don't have anything to do with the situation i can't stress that enough isaiah rashad sitting up somewhere doing who knows what and Getting talked about in that manner for what? He's not part of the Apollo, bro. Can't stress that enough. He's not part of the Apollo, gang. You sassy, bro. I don't know how close you guys were I met, before that. I met some of them at one time. Okay, so I understand that. So, bro, uh, no, you don't have you don't have to be defensive. I'm, I'm low-key on your side. I'm just trying to see. I'm trying to see the standpoint of like how if I was. Look at how Dijon holding his hand like an auntie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you hold his hand. Look, bro, I don't even want to pile with that nigga. I'm going to be real, bro, whole energy. I wouldn't even want to pile with this nigga. I see why Scotty be the way he be, though. I'm not going to lie. When you watch this and you see this, just like you could feel the arrogance and shit off his body. You could feel that shit, bro. That shit is weird. Like, and why you feel so high power? You don't, you're a worker over here. You a worker over here, gang. Straight up. You're a worker over here. You don't run a fucking thing. At fair to say or figmunity world. That's just a fact. Why you got all that posture? What's all that posture about? My boy, you're a worker for the same niggas you called employees. <laughs> that shit don't never get old. Them and I was making a joke because everybody jokes about everybody across these platforms, whether it's a slight Facts. one or not. But yeah. how are people supposed to like know what's what's gonna really upset you or like you when you, when just you not joke say, let me, let me, or you just not say the joke let me, let me it joke, is, let me ask you this. Joke it is possible homies. to not say i just want to know one thing i just want to know one thing is it not possible to not say Let's, a gay joke like it's, it's constitutional it's like you have to say a gay joke I, I if just, you say a gay joke you might get a negative reaction i just want to ask this one question is that out the realm of possibility is that out the again is that out the realm of possibility that if you say a gay joke to a gay person they may not respond you keep arguing the point of your response. No one's no one's saying that you can't respond. Look at that auntie hand, boy. He about to get your ass. He about to get your ass. <laughs> the auntie hand is wild, bro. Mm -hmm. What I want well, to, I what I, I want to, to right. To this is and this is probably my last question. It probably won't be my last question, but re relating it to a punch, right? Uh -huh. Is it fair to say that they slapped you upside the head mm -hmm. and you hit them in the mouth? Is it fair to say that? Mm. Thank you. I'm so proud of myself. That's what he said he wants to do. Thank you. I'm so proud of myself. Once you hit me, there's no... That's the best compliment I've got all day. Thank you. Great. And my question is, if somebody slaps you in the back... And I'm going to do that whenever I Someone taps you in the back of the head, like, nigga, you stupid. You think... You think it's like, it's up... If I want to hit you in the mouth, I'm going to hit you in the mouth. And it is what it is. You cannot control the reaction to disrespect. It's not about what you control. It's about what is okay. It's on me. And what's too far. See, what what Scotty is trying to say is what I was explaining to y'all earlier, right? Context. Context. Niggas smack you, hey, stupid, smack you in the back of your head. You gonna turn around and punch them in the mouth? No, you not. 
Because that's not a response that you have for us. Smack in the back of the head. Now, hey, rightfully so. Hey, you can respond however you want. But is it likely that somebody who gets smacked in the back of their head is turning around and punching somebody in the mouth? It's not likely. And that's an extreme reaction. It's a fact, dog. This nigga, I'm glad I did that. I stood up for myself. When nobody trying to pick on you, Spicy Brown, chill out. Stop, don't try to be the victim. Nobody's trying to pick on you at Fig Muni. I don't like that. They said that I'm trying to fuck T-Rail. Niggas know you ain't trying to fuck T-Rail. Shut up. God damn. What happened first? What happened first? What, did, did my clip come out first? So no reaction is too far. First? No reaction is too far. Address what they said first, then talk to me. Get into chronological order. But we're past happened. that. But, but, now it's about... Okay, okay. But okay, so since we're past it, is there a way that that could have been... Boy, you know a nigga spicy when they talking to the air. He looking up in the sky. He said... Just It's like all that, bro. It's easy to make jokes off all that shit, man. What you mean? Is it impossible to make a to not make a game? Hell yeah, it's impossible with your ass. With your ass. All that ammunition you giving niggas, man. Sitting there swinging your neck and touch all the thing. You gotta tell me this. You got the auntie hand. You looking up in the sky. What the hell? That's jokes. That's funny. Come on, man. Come on. Where you hit him and be like, oh, that's not cool, instead of throwing a shot back. Or that to me, to you, that's not. I loved the way I handled it. Ooh. I wish <laughs> I had <laughs> printed out so I could read it that again and again. I want to steep myself in what I said and become it and repeat it every day like an affirmation when I wake up in the morning. I love it that much and I'm so proud of myself. Thank but you, don't, Dijon. Great so job, what, Dijon, you don't think that that's for standing up for yourself and saying something back. So what if AD is beefing with somebody and then you catch a stray? You think that that's fair? It is what it is. It is what it is. Do you think that's a good way to go about life? I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Mm. How about people stop with the all the excessive gay jokes and then you won't hear me I'm gonna take you to therapy. back? You so, well, but you're not gonna take them to therapy for cracking you're the coming, jokes. You're coming from, a but you're not gonna take them to therapy for cracking the jokes. You're gonna take me to therapy for I respond to the jokes. Dijon, because quite frankly, quite Wait, I thought what I said was hilarious. Quite frankly, I thought I cooked. You thought you cooked, and we're gonna run this back just a bit. We almost done, y'all. You did not cook, and what you said was not funny. Nobody thought it was funny. On your episode of Fair to Say, when you said what you said, no one laughed. No one thought that was funny, gang. Let's just let's just be clear. Nobody thought that was funny. Have to say that. <laughs> like it wasn't funny, nigga. Larry, quite frankly, I thought I cooked. Quite I, frankly, I I cooked. you're in front of me right now, and yeah. we're dealing with accountability. They have a side in it as well, but mm -hmm. I'm talking to you, and okay. we're talking about accountability on your oh, side. What I said back, I never apologize for what I say back. I never apologize for. It's not about my apologizing, because again, we're not saying you're. Well, he hyped. I, I said it, so I took. I'm taking accountability. I said it, and I just said I'll say it ten thousand more times. So I'm taking accountability for what I said. I said it. I'm not like them saying, "What did I say to Dijon? What did we say to Dijon?" Even though it's on camera, you're not. A, you're I'm not taking it. accountability. You're yeah. admitting that you said it. Taking accountability right. would be admitting like, "Yo, they barely tapped me, and I hit them maybe a little too hard." Oh, uh, to no, me, I, that would be accountability. I, I could have hit harder. I would hit this. I could have hit harder. I could have. I could have. Oh, I could have said a few more. Did they vowel, hit it? Hey, pass that. I could have said a few more vile, vicious things done. in response. I mean, you're entitled. Again, I'm not here to judge if how you respond. If I had responded. to grade my response, ninety-eight percent. Okay, but look, look, look. And still, I would say too. I'm not. Two, I'm not okay, going to. I'm just giving you a little push. Let's wrap this up. I could have teamed in there. Let's wrap this up. He stands on what he stands on. What else you got to say about it? No, no. He's entitled. to let him go harder. I'm sorry with my A. I feel like <laughs> the only thing I feel like is the the they embellishment that he's credit, doing man. on it now is like the extras. He's standing on it, but he's embellishing it heavy. I don't think because the flack that he's getting from it is making you respond. All right, Stet, that's enough. Now, that's the uh, basically the end of the clip. I don't care to um, hear, hear Stet uh, do what he does, right? Um, shout out to that brother, though. But this is the thing, Dijon. You out of pocket. You out of pocket. You brought somebody into the situation who don't got nothing to do with the situation. And again, all these guys joke 24-7 on each other. Can't stress this enough. T-Rail has a whole arm that he can't use. And niggas, keep the jokes flying about that. You talking about your sexuality, bro. You gay. Hey, it's it's all good. You know what I'm saying? You do zesty things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I pointed out a few different zesty things he was doing all in here. No, it, Hey, people joke on that, especially if they think you cool. Niggas just hired you. You just got hired, gang. You know what I'm saying? You part of the team or whatever now, so niggas think, oh, bro, he's, you know what I'm saying? We was making these jokes when he wasn't over here, so I'm sure we can make him now that he over here with us 
You know what I mean? But I'm going to just tell niggas, they need to get rid of him, bro. He got too much ego. He got too much attitude. And it's like, bro, come on, man. Niggas ain't need this. This is not the energy that we like at Fig Unity World. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually um, watch their content. Niggas be like, oh, you're, you're, a, you're a no jumper fan. No, I'm not. I don't watch no jumper. I get clips from fans and subs. And, and my cousin, you know what I'm saying? But I don't watch no jumper. I actually watch Fair to Say Fig Unity World Community. I watch these shows. And I think it's fair to say that Dijon ain't even watched these shows before he came over here. The nigga just needed a job and yo, he pulled up. But I think it's fair to say that he don't even watch these these platforms. I also want to um bring up the fact that yo, he literally sat up on no jumper when he was um cool with uh Kiwi Head, right? Before the fake shooting, because that's what it was, a fake shooting. Before the fake shooting, he sat up there and he said, I don't want to be uh, nowhere on, on a platform, basically. He said, community, that's Crips. Uh, fig, uh, back on Fig, that's uh, prostitution and Hoover. I remember that shit. I do remember that. And now look at you. Over here working for them same people. I just think Dijon is disingenuous. I can't say that shit enough. I, I I feel like he fake. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's up with that shooting again. I think it's all a lie. You know what I mean? But I think he fake. You know what I mean? And uh, niggas don't need that kind of energy at Fig Unity World. You feel me? Niggas ain't trying to make Fig Unity World no jumper. Like, straight up, bro. All that. <laughs> Kicking up dust and making all kind of problems. Like, bro, this ain't content. I mean, it's content for me because I'm reporting on your ass. But... This ain't content like niggas want to watch straight up. You feel me? Again, I'll cut content on it, but I didn't enjoy this. Even his reaction right here is like, he just so damn sassy. This whole fucking clip, it was just like annoying me. And again, shout out to Dijon for what he does for hip hop. You know what I mean? LA hip hop. Shout out to bro for that. But all this other shit, maybe you just need to get back to your report card, gang, because this bunk skunk. I'm not going to lie. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, please, and thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link, follow me on Instagram, shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. Also, join up in the Discord. Good people, positive vibes all the time. I can't tell you that enough. Smash that TikTok link to follow me over there for any content that I post as well. Um, shout out to all my subs. Again, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, for being around, supporting the content, doing it up in the chat. Niggas keep being like, oh, Neem got the best chat um, on YouTube. And I like that shit. That's dope because it's positive. Niggas ain't saying no foul shit, um, hating on nobody or nothing like that. And I like that y'all respect the environment. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of people do a lot of different shit on other platforms. But when they come over to mine, it's all love, and I appreciate that. So shout out to y'all for that. You know what I'm saying? Your boy at the 14K. Let's get to that 20 banger and into a hundred. You know what I'm talking about? So shout out to all y'all for that. Shout out Nick Two C's, kid. That's my dog. You feel me? Creating all your boys' artwork and all that. Y'all need any um artwork, any assets for for your uh content? Make sure y'all definitely go tap in with Nick Two C's, man. Good dude right there, doing great work. Um, for anybody looking for any kind of marketing or promotion when it comes to this YouTube, definitely contact Drea the Virgo on Instagram. Again, that's at Drea the Virgo on Instagram. Serious inquiries only. She's working with a bunch of different content creators and she does great work. Positive woman doing great work work you understand me she good at her job too she's on top of things you feel me so if you need help whether that's thumbnails views viewer retention monetization contact at drea the virgo on instagram serious inquiries only but y'all comment down below and let me know let me know what y'all think of um spicy brown bro i think his days are numbered at fig community world it's just my thoughts it's your boy gang Lanine. peace